a brief introduction about the ICSE computer application syllabus. The first unit for your computer application syllabus is the revision of the class 9th curriculum. Whatever things you have studied in class 9th, they are again going to come for your class 10th curriculum. Basically, this contains your introduction to object-oriented programming, then elements of uh, object-oriented programming, Java and features of Java, different components of Java programming, uh, then your uh, basic input and uh, decision-making programs, loops-based programs, we have also the nested loops. So this all things from your class 9th curriculum is again going to be there. You all must have studied that. Next thing comes class as basis of all computation. This, uh, this includes the class, the objects, the different types of variables, the different methods, different types of things, objects, class as object factory. All these things are included in your second chapter. Third one is methods, that is functions, user defined functions, that's your curriculum. This portion also is important because it contains, you get normally, uh, two programs can be there from this section. This is important for the theory as well as for the programming section. So this will be incorporating your methods, use of methods, types of methods, method definition, uh, then you can have function overloading, different types of uh, functions are there, function overloading based programs and again programs involving multiple functions, they are there. Then one important thing again, different ways of calling functions, it can be call by value, call by reference, you can be asked questions related to theoretical topics about this, what are functions, what is the use of functions, what are the advantages of using functions. Call by value, call by reference, definitions, examples, differences and again when we talk about programs, there will be programs involving multiple functions, there will be programs in which you can be asked to using function overloading, call the function and different functions can be there in function overloading. Once this is done, again you have constructor. Constructor is a section, again it is an add-on with your uh, function where you can be asked about a constructor in your theory topic. Uh, definition of constructor, features of constructors, uses of constructors and uh, again when you talk program, it can be asked to include the functions, include the constructor in your program. So constructor can be asked to make a function or uh, to make the use the constructor in the program that can be there. Then when we talk about library classes, library classes basically include the wrapper classes, the math functions and again uh, the functions based on the characters, the character related functions they are in library classes. This part again is important for your uh, section A, that's the theory part and again uh, the use or the application of this could be in your programming section also. So this is important again. Next when we talk about the different functions, different part. You have encapsulation. Encapsulation is a small unit where you could be asked about the different uh, scope of the variables, scope of the methods. So using those logics you can attempt these questions. They will be basically in section A you will be getting questions from these topics. Next we talk about array. Array is a very important topic. You will be getting two questions in section B, that's the programming part and again you can get questions in section A, MCQs or again the question number 2 where you have to attempt the question, there you can get these questions. So from array you need to understand what is the structure of an array, what is the definition of array, even in the, in the board's question has come what is an array. So what is an array, an array is a structure created in the memory used to store a large amount of data using a single variable name. We will be discussing more about these topics when you uh, discuss the various chapters when we discuss that time I will be coming up to it again. From array you need to understand programs, a general program, a basic program of array, application of array. Then again uh, talking about searching, linear search, that is the sequential search, again binary search that is the non-sequential search. Then you have the two types of sorting that is selection sort and bubble sort. Uh, then these questions add one or two questions can be there and again you have a question from double dimension array. 
What is the double dimension array? Double dimension array is just like a matrix where data is represented in rows and columns, right? Rows and columns you must have done in matrices in maths. So a double dimension array stores data in two subscripts. It has to got two subscripts. One is for the row, one is for the column. So applications of this double dimension arrays is also one important thing. Next, when we talk about the next topic, next chapter, that is string manipulation or string handling. String is also a very important topic because you will get one question from string, programming question from string, and again you get output based questions and again questions related to the various string functions that will be there in your uh, question in section A. Now, when we talk about the program, in programming you can get questions from extraction of characters extraction of characters like right? finding the word, number of vowels in a sentence finding the number of words finding the number of blank spaces so these sort of questions can be there that's application extraction of letters extraction of characters again you could also be asked to extract the number of words like right? extraction of words find the word which is containing the maximum number of vowels find the word biggest word like this sort of questions where you are combining the characters to form a word regenerating sentences you could also be asked questions from a string where you have to arrange the words, letters of the word alphabetically, right? Arranging the letters of the word alphabetically. You could also be asked a question again uh, from string to convert a word to its big Latin form. So the logic of all this will be given in the question and also we'll be discussing all these type of programs when we discuss the string chapter in detail. In the theory part again, you could be asked about the return type of the various string functions you could also be asked about the output based questions will be there from strings so these things will be there so if we summarize again i'll just like to tell you all in like in the previous video i had told you will be getting one question from string you will be getting two or three questions you can get from uh, array you will be getting one question from function overloading you will be getting one question from methods you can get one question from uh, series or pattern printing also it can come in function overloading you can get one number system based questions whether where you have to identify which type of uh, number it is whether it is a palindrome armstrong like these type of questions can be there and again when we talk about the section a section a includes all the things uh, your uh, uh, class string your class your array all these things are included so one by one we will be discussing all the chapters 7 to 8 sections will be there in which we will be discussing all the chapters and again we will be discussing few sample papers in which we will be discussing and revising the entire topics in a question pattern so this will help you all I will request all of you to stay connected so that we can discuss all the chapters in details and you get full benefit of it wishing you all good luck so that you get full marks in the computer application paper in the board 2025 thank you